and we are back with more Scarlet Nexus. Now, as per usual, I'm sure you expect this at this point. Uh, let me just move my cursor out of the way. Uh, I have done some more of the wonderful, terrible, I'm kidding, the wonderful amount of side quests. I have done a few more of them. Some of them are really annoying. Uh, and that's not hard, but like, the psychokinesis finish stuff, yeah. Because my crush gauge doesn't last long enough for them, oh sorry. Yeah, with, without me killing them with, like, brain crush, I... Get now. I can't, I can't do psychokinesis, but... Because I'm too busy turning them to dust. Yeah, that, that's mostly my own fault. Uh, <laughs> can't really complain about that one, it's entirely my own fault. Anyway, uh, but because of that, yeah, some of these side quests are a bit more annoying to do than I thought it'd be. But, they are what they are. Anyway, uh, what I did do, off camera, is I made all the gifts I can possibly make for all our wonderful members. So I'm now going to become Santa again and give gifts to everybody. Right after I talk to... Oh, no, not you, Satori. Yes, I know, I've spent so long doing side quests. I eventually gave up on this, I was doing the side quest quite fine. But the problem was a lot of the enemies were either way in the middle of a dungeon, or were with, like, other enemies, which they... The side quest got tedious. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Like, they were fine. They were alright hunting them down and dealing with them, but some of them were like, for instance, one of the main ones is the exploding guys on the mountains. They want you to deal with them while in brain field, which you can't trigger outside of killing other, well, others. Which is really annoying. So, that is another thing I'm going to do off camera. That's one of the main ones. The other ones, the combo visions have to be the finishing blow or it doesn't count. I've killed about 20 of... where is it? There was one I was doing and it needed me to do... I guess it's the Togetsu one. No, it's a... Uh, where is it? That one? Nope, this one. The Fuel Pool. I killed about 30 of these assholes using only Hanabi and it didn't count. Because effectively they died due to natural causes. Which was annoying. It wasn't natural causes, it was due to me setting them on fire. Yeah, maybe shouldn't have done that one. But anyway. We live and we learn. I listen to TV. This is the Seran Revolution broadcast. We have hijacked the official channel in order to inform you of our justice. Through the hard struggle of our compatriots, we were, sorry, through the hard struggle of compatriots, we were able to expose how far the government has betrayed its people. However, the government deceit goes further. The broadcast of this channel will be suspended due to technical difficulties. The broadcast, the, this is Seran Revolution broadcast, this is the... Yeah, okay, that's offline. I should talk to Gamma. I will in a minute, but first I'll talk to Koka. But yeah, so side quests, I am working on them, but they're not necessary to the plot in any way whatsoever. So uh, if you don't see me bring them up again, that's why. I might bring them up again, we'll see. But that, that's apparently, like, I will collect them all. Whether or not I do them all is a different story. But I will at least show you them all. Okay? The thing is, there's no, like, end to the quest. You just accept it and hand it into a menu. So you're not really missing anything if I don't bother doing them all. The other one misses something me, but nah. Just because just, just, I don't want to have to kill the side quests. I like the side quests. The side quests are alright, because they're usually stuff like go kill his enemy. It's just because I've got so many of them to do now, and they're not that entertaining. The combat's great fun though, so I'm not really complaining that much, but I can see why I won't complain about them. Because they, they're, they're the one thing letting the game down. Anyway, I'm so glad you made it back safely. I was pretty freaked out when you were gone. I wasn't gone that long, was I? I figured I was only, what, stop the road? Oh, I don't have anything. No, I didn't forget it. Sorry, Kyoka, I thought I had something for you. Uh, she did. I'm so glad that your power didn't fall into Togetsu's hands. Just think of all the damage they could have done with it. Don't worry, I got it. My power's too good for that. Anyway, uh, here's a plasma ball. <laughs> yeah, I got a bunch of gifts before. I'm still missing a couple, but the majority of the gifts that you can give to people <laughs> I have. So, here you go. I'm just gonna go around playing Santa and giving folks stuff. I don't actually have to give folks stuff, but it's nice to be nice, you know? Okay, Luca, I've got like the most things to give you. Also, how the hell did I end up with these two? I thought I've used these. Huh, I must have gave me some for doing a few quests. You do actually get given stuff like these, so that makes sense. Anyway, uh, here you go, here's some protein powder. Don't ask me why you want protein powder, you've got nothing wrong with you, mate. But, here you go. You are in it. This is amazing. Thank you. 
I mean, the box is bigger than your head, but okay. This is a pro monster that gives results in three times as quickly. Can I really have this? Yeah, take it. Glad you liked it. Really? You like that? Protein. Because of the way I look, people sometimes mistake me for a child. You've always treated me as an equal, though. I don't care how people look. It's good to not have prejudices. I'm grateful. Right, so look at what we got. Assault vision. Attack it and guard an enemy and he'll call out. Answer him with triangle circle if here's a vision. Oh, thanks. Got swash racket and balls of resident liquor. Thanks! This might sound a little childish, but do you think we could become closer? That's not childish. I think we can both understand each other even more. Okay. I didn't think I got you quite that much protein powder. Jesus. Um, here's a metal plate. I've got a bunch of these things, so let me just give them the book. Really didn't think I got that many. Jesus. This is amazing. Thank you. Like, seriously? This will be the perfect add-on for my weapon. Certainly put it to good use. Yeah. Yes, I still have not used it in an actual battle. First I was training every day. Practice makes perfect. Okay. Be careful, right? I don't you left put making your weight so heavy you can't lift the thing, you know? I've got more for you, by the way. Look, I'm just gift giving like crazy. Here's another one. Here's your adjustable dumbbell. I think it matches the old set of us. This is very nice. I'm happy you like it. I've just got gifts for everybody. I think it's safe as just to, like. It's a bit heavy, yeah. It's a case of like just giving folk stuff as we progress is a better way of doing it than just dumping it all at the end, you know? Still can't believe Kyo Cooking make a duplicate of herself to give herself a back rub. It's both genius and I'm so jealous! Look at him go! There's just something so wrong about this image. Anyway, hey Gamma. So the moon was dropping the others onto Earth. I thought the others were enemy, but it turns out behind their ugly veal it was humans all along. That doesn't surprise me. Anyway, uh, I got a whole bunch of other shit for you. Like, now I have to decide who to give this to. Man! Anyway, I've got some fishing rods for you. I've also got some medicine stuff. This is for me? Yeah, good. You know what I like, Kasane. I was wondering whether I should buy us or not. <clears throat> I got interested when I read a fishing magazine. I guess you can catch the big ones even in a tributary like Misa Hagawa. Alright, where'd you go? I've got more stuff to give you, Gamma. Where'd you go? Gamma! I'm giving Kyoko all the gifts I can give her. Wait, have I? I think I have. I oh, actually. The only thing I'm thinking of, like, the upgrade menu. This'll tell me. Fully unlocked. Need to give one to her. Fully unlocked. Need to give one to him. Okay. The other ones I plan on using, I think. Anyway, shoot, then I will get to you. Where the hell did Gamer go? Uh. There it is. I got more stuff here. Oh. I think you put them on the wall. Cool. Yeah, I know. The moon are bad people. Anyway, here's some healthcare stuff. Seems to really like his fishing rod. He has been looking for a hobby. What about hey, that? I'm grateful. Like he's been looking for a hobby, so like, I think he really appreciates the fishing Look, rod. Look, Kasane, it seems like I'm not very good at expressing these kind of feelings. I'm just concerned about you as a friend. That's all I wanted to say. It's strange. I don't feel upset hearing that coming from you, Gemma. Thank you. No need to thank me, I'm just telling you how I feel. This is kind of embarrassing. Tell me about it. Prolong SES effect. SES schedule increases effective time increases. Oh, thanks. I know this is strange to say, but I really admire you. I admire you as well. I have to make sure I live up to your respect. Uh, if I give him G, then I'll read it. No, but I did give him enough plasma balls to set himself on fire. Uh, anyway. Hey, guy, got a pen travel power. I thought Kyra's power was strongest, but you and you might have him beat. I mean, yeah, we just go back in time and kill him as a kid. <laughs> I didn't say that. Uh, oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. 
Yeah, I need to give you one of these because I've not bothered to give you one of these yet. To give you this, I need to give Akashi the other one. Well, I'll actually the other one. Sorry. Oh, cool. There you go. This should make life a bit easier for you. And also make us a lot more money. So there you go. I think the ability stacks. They increase money when you use a plugin. Anyway, what I do have for you, Kagero, is a manga. Yeah, Dawn Pickles. It's a weird name if ever you ask me, but you're not asking me, so. There you go. Oh, cool. I didn't think you read comics, guess any. Huh? You didn't open it. It's so good, though. No. <laughs> Say it yourself. I don't read comics. You really have grown. And I don't mean your height. You mean as a person? Yeah. I've known a lot of people, and there aren't many that I really trust. I guess I can't talk much about being trustworthy, but you're really turning into a good person. Oh, thanks, Kagura. Prolong SES effect. SES invisibility effect time cruises. Lovely. You have a pretty good understanding of who I am. I can just tell without you saying it. You talk too much. However, I'm glad we both understand each other. I got a feeling things are gonna get hard to get after this. I'll be taking it easy until Wakaba gets up. Wakana gets up. Almost go to Wakaba, it's a whole different game. Right, uh, I don't know what I did. I need to give you that. But first, I need to give you this. Because I've not given you this one yet, so here you go. Hmm. The thing is, you can only use one of each on each version. I'll take it if you give it it. Then I'll upgrade you slightly later. I was meant to do that off camera, I forgot about that. Anyway, what I do have for you, Arashi, is a games console. I don't know what games on it, but here you go. It did tell me, but I've no idea what it is. You know what I like. Thanks. Ah, uh, you've got the gaming stuff set up there, and you've got the PCs, so I figured it was a safe bet. Ooh, you got a commercial use case? You know I'm putting this in it up. This game is rumored to train your power just by playing it. So, this is like work, right? Yep! I don't know if that's accurate, but... At least you liked it. you really are strong. Even with all this discouragement, you just... Take it and keep fighting. That's thanks to you and everyone else. I'm not that strong on my own. I don't remember doing anything special, but I guess I'm happy I could help. SAS hyper velocity effect times increased too. I hate trouble, but I'm always willing to help you whenever you need me to. I never thought I'd hear that from you. I'm honored. Thank you. Sorry, I got a bit distracted. I'm really curious what game that is. What was that? What's that? Copyright Bandai Namco. <laughs> okay, well played. <laughs> well played indeed. Right, uh, who have I given gifts to? Uh, Luca Don, Kagero Don, Shiden Don, Arashi Don. Right, ladies, you're next in the list for me to be Santa. I'm glad the time travel worked. You heard Kasani? Don't push yourself too hard. Yeah, that's a game. I'm good. I do have extra stuff to give you though. I'm not giving you those though. I think I'll give these to you so. Much as I shouldn't be encouraging him to use his brain too much, I need to give you some stuff. There you go. Okay. Be careful. It gets bugs easily. It, uh, wait, what? I'm okay. I'm good at extermination too. Alright. I don't know when it gets bugs, but anyway. I have another flower for you. I've got a few of them. Right, here's another one. Why do you think about this one? Uh, really? I'm so happy. Beautiful. The way the flowers are arranged, how they're growing and how they were raised, it's all carefully thought out. I take care of flowers to keep them around as long as possible. Dry flowers or pressed flowers might be a good idea too. Well, I'm glad you like the flowers. I haven't really taught this to give me much as a thing. Hanabe, I've got stuff for you too. Kasane, have you mellowed lately? Like how you talk? Have I? I'm not particularly aware of it. Really? I just had the feeling that you're somewhat easier to talk to. Maybe I'm the one who's changed. It could be that I understand what you're feeling more since I know you better. 
That makes me happy. Prolong SES effect and burn negation. The time the SES pyrokinesis effect is prolonged. Also, you recover from burning status and damage is negated during the effect. Sweet. It makes me happy to know you trust me. I know I'm in good hands with you. So, this is what trust feels like. You think Wakana, uh, Wakana would be able to stay here forever? That'd be nice. How great would it be if she could just live here? I mean, that'd be really good, but I don't know if that'd work. And anyway, I have a bunch of extra shit to give you, so here's a candle. You seem to be like fire, which makes sense given your pyrokinesis. Wow, I'm so happy. Why'd you light the candle? I want to hold my pyrokinesis more. This would be good practice for making small flames. Ah, uh, that's what you wanted it. Alright. Uh, where'd you go? Oh. I should talk to Gamma. I know. Where the hell did you go? Okay, there's a bunch of them. Alright, that makes more sense. Oh, ah, cool. Alright, I do have more guests for you though. Uh, how about this one? This exercise tool is a red wheel for training abdominal muscles. Just holding it in both hands and rolling it will give you a six pack. This part is used by everyone, from exercise amateurs to experts. Someone starts rolling when the summer gets close. Probably to fight in bikinis, right? Um, better. It's also red, which clearly is our favourite colour. Yep, there you go. I want to tighten my abs up some more. I only want that hourglass figure. Don't think you need it though, you look perfectly fine to me. But she seems happy enough. Right, I think that's most of them. The uh, only one I haven't done at the moment is uh, you two, I guess. I didn't think you're, you'd bring back our mom. I'm kinda getting nervous. What should I say to her? Uh, how about hi? Also, I have a whole bunch of backy crap to give you. But first, I'll give you these. Thanks. Yeah, you got a whole bunch of backy nonsense, but there you go. There's one for you, and I'll give you the other one, and then we'll go and equip you so that you're not dead weight in a fight. I mean, so you're not gonna die in a fight. Let me say, they're not dead weight either, but still. Um, I'm just gonna make sure to give you all the gifts. I think it's smart to do it, you know. Yeah, you can have it. And then, once you've done that, I've got a bunch of backy nonsense because you're backy daft. But here's some comic first. Like, seriously, all this stuff is backy this, backy that, backy yada yada. Apart from, like, comics. See? Comic. Thanks. Well, you know, never thought you'd be, I never thought he would be a traitor in the last chapter. Ooh, sorry, no spoilers. Okay. I'll make it even easier. Okay, I've just realized this place is getting real cluttered with all the stuff in it. Oh boy. I'm sure the hideout's big enough. You too, I've got more stuff for you. I've got. What do you think about this lot? Oh, backy stuff. It's a box of backy crap. <laughs> Get me for you, I mean. Here's the backy stuff. Whoa, thanks. Since we're the master character of our supercomputer, it's a bit weird. There are so many. I have to think of how to arrange them. I'm happy to have a lot of the same one. Hey, Kasane. Remember how I called you a lone wolf before? Now that I think about it, I was wrong. You're no lone wolf. You're the one carrying everyone. I feel like that's more your specialty. Really? I think you're pretty good at it yourself. All of us count on you, including me. Assault vision. Attack an unguarded enemy and you Yuito will call out. Answer him with triangle circle who will appear as a vision for a special attack. You're pretty kind sometimes. Oh, wait, that didn't come out right. It's fine. If that's the case, Maybe some of your sincerity has rubbed off on me. I didn't think you'd bring up. Yeah, I know, I keep thinking about the bomb. Alright, uh, here's some. A backy floor, like. Okay. You really are backy obsessed, huh? Take it here. Whoa, thanks. Kinda cute, but like, what the hell? Backy light. It's opening up. It's lighting up the area. And my heart, too. You eat, though, you are not. Letting you know that, man. Okay, I've got one more gift to give you. There's a backy dictionary. There's a dictionary. Oh, God. 
Of course, there's a dictionary. For all you backy nuts out there, there's a backy dictionary. Thanks. So freaking language, right there. This is the newest version. Backy info is always being updated, so I have to check it constantly. Right. I'm never gonna understand that kid, am I? Hey, well, right. Who's brain messaging me? Can I make game? What happened to the moon? I don't know. After I lost contact with the moon, so, uh, after I lost. Oh wait, we lost a lot of this one. But I've been thinking about what Kagero said. What were the Luna people are trying to do and what happened? But I'm still not confident I understand. I'd like it does explain it to me again. Don't worry about it, Sugumi. Except me and Kyoya, it was a lot of information for all of you to process. As far as I understand, it all began when colonists were sent to Earth from the moon. Yeah, I guess it was around then. The colonists' goal was to return to their homeland and reduce the population of the overpopulated moon. However, they ran into a problem. The other particles that transformed humans into others started falling down on the moon and Earth. In order to draw those particles away from the moon, they needed to override the gravity device that was regulating the Earth's climate. So they wanted to sacrifice Earth in order to save just the moon. And the one who was trying to execute that plan was Kagero. He was an agent from the moon. Yeah, that's right, but I messed up. That's when the moon decided to try a different method. If they couldn't avoid the other particles from falling, then all they had to do was direct them all to Earth. Yes, oop. If they enveloped Earth with a belt of other particles, the colonists on Earth wouldn't be able to return to the moon. They could kill two birds with one stone by also preventing the population from growing again. So that's the reason the execution belt came to be? Oh, sorry, the extinction belt came to be? Then does that mean the moon's plans exceeded? I don't know. After I lost contact with the moon. After all, I lost contact with the moon. So I have no idea what's happening up there. I can't imagine that everything worked out for them with the other particles though. This is just conjecture, but I believe the moon continues to face a crisis, regardless of the results of our plan. You said the moon was responsible for the others descending onto Earth. No matter what their initial objectives may have been, continuing that for 2,000 years is abnormal, to say the least. Whether you're afraid, or whether they're afraid of the Earth's retaliation or they ran into some other trouble, the moon is facing desperate times. Yeah, that's, that's even though... The, the translations on this are the best. That's even though they are more advanced in technology than we do. That is why I believe they're still being threatened by the others. Are those on the moon too? If that's the case, it must be hard for you, Kagero. I mean, that's your homeland, where your family was. I really appreciate your concern, Sugumi. But I honestly have mixed feelings about it. Everything happened such a long time ago. Anyway, that's pretty much all I can tell you about it. Yeah, I was checking if anyone had messaged me saying they wanted to go out for dead. And there is a backy light. Oh, actually, it reflects it. But, like... Plus, it's really busy with stuff now. There, there. And of course, the messiest one. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's work our way out. I right, should keep saying it to talk to Game Muscle. Let's talk to Game Kusane, can we talk? I have a favor to ask. What is it? I know this is cruel of me to ask, but could you tell me where Naomi died? I heard about what happened to her, and I wanted to visit the last place she stood before she died. Of course, you don't have to tell me if it's too painful for you. It's Mizu Hagawa. We can go together. Are you sure? Yes. I think you should see it too. Sorry, and thank you. Burn negation. During SES, you'll recover and become immune from burn status. So next time you catch fire, just start setting them on fire. It's a better system. Burn negation. Yep, that's what it is. Next time I'm on fire, I'm setting them on fire instead. It's just like a no you, screw you, but it's just a better option, you know? Anyway. Wait, they can't be knocked down. Ah, that's why. Naomi died around here. This is where she fought the Togetsu soldiers. She and the rest of the people transformed into others. They saved us when we had nowhere to run, at the cost of their own lives. It must have been hard for you. Just looking at this place brings back painful memories. Naomi told me something back then, though. That she was happy to have been alive, and to perform one last act of humanity. Hmm... Naomi was in pain, but she found a reason to live. That's why I won't let this keep me down. 
I'll survive anything the world wants to throw at me. I see. Naomi lived her life to the fullest. Gemma, are you crying? Hmm? Oh, looks like I am. <laughs> Sorry. You better not say you want to die, too. Don't worry, I won't. I already decided I wouldn't waste my life anymore. I'm sure Naomi wouldn't be happy if I did something like that. Good. I'm relieved to hear you say that. Why did you want to come here anyway? I wanted to confirm what I was feeling. To figure out what I want to do with the rest of my life. I won't let anyone go through what Naomi did ever again. However, this nation's issues are too great. Suo and Seiron are no different. They use and discard the innocent for their own gain. You're right. I'm sure there are people like Naomi suffering somewhere in this country, even now. I was hesitating because of the size of the opposition. But learning about Naomi's last moments here... has solidified the path I need to take. Now that the government's actions have been made public, the system is slowly changing. I want to help create a new system to make up for past mistakes. That's the least I can do for Naomi. I'm glad you have a goal. I'm sure she would be happy. It sounds like you'll still have plenty to do after retirement. Actually, I had another idea about my retirement. Although it might be a little conceited. If a retired OSF soldier can live a long life and do something to help society, then I want to become the model case of a psionic successfully aging. That's impressive. You must have drawn upon your vast experience to come up with an idea like that. No, I didn't come up with it on my own. It's something I thought after talking with you. Really? Remember when I had you taste my cooking the other day? That helped me gain a little confidence that I had more to offer than my ability to fight. Even if I lose my power, there are still so many new things for me to try. I was worried about what would happen after retirement, but now I'm almost looking forward to it. People really can change. He does look happier than when he first handed me Naomi's letter. Life goes on in this world even without her, for both Gemma and me. I feel like I should start something new, too. Really? Do you want to try cooking with me? It's pretty interesting. I'll think about it. Cooking together might be nice. Kodama Meloni, a shrewd person who serves both as Fubuki's assistant and commander of Kodama Platoon. She follows her superior's orders, but is an eccentric who likes to stand out. Tell me about it. She's a royal pin in the ass. But it works. Yeah, the Kodama twins are a pin in the bum. That being said, they've not parked up in a while now I think about it. We fought the pair of them and that was about it. I remember what Naomi said. What? I asked you if you want to cook me, right? That made me remember something about Naomi. When Naomi gave me the recipe, she told me she wanted to make it for you. I say she wanted me to make it for you. She was worried about you, saying you skipped meals if you didn't say it, if she didn't say anything. She told you that much? Oh, Naomi, I'm fine. I eat to su survive, right, Gamma? Yeah, there's a lot we have to do, so we'll eat and survive. Yeah. <laughs>